In Idlib, the rulers have begun cleaning house. Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, HTS, have moved further in attempting to consolidate power. The Al-Qaeda affiliates launched a security operation against the infamous Chechen leader Muslim Abu Walid al-Shisani and his group Ju'und al-Sham. A large security force of HTS stormed several positions of Ju'und al-Sham in the northern countryside of Latakia, including the group's main headquarters in the town of Al-Humidaya. The militants are searching for al-Shishani, who reportedly took to the northern Latakia mountains along with his best militants. In late June, HTS gave al-Shishani an ultimatum, join its ranks or leave Greater Idlib along with his militants. Al-Shishani refused to join HTS and then decided to dissolve his group and leave Greater Idlib along with his militants. He hasn't left yet, which has led to the situation of militants hunting for other militants in the Latakia mountains. Meanwhile, other HTS allies continue to violate the ceasefire agreement, shelling Damascus-controlled towns. On July 15th, Al-Qaeda-affiliated Ansar Al-Twaid launched a Zilzal heavy improvised rocket at the government-held town of Hizrain in the northwestern Syrian region of Greater Idlib. The group claimed that the rocket targeted a gathering of the Syrian Arab Army SAA inside the town. In response to these violations and others, the SAA bombarded the Jabal al-Arbayin area in southern Idlib with heavy artillery. These frequent violations wouldn't be possible if Turkey didn't refuse to implement any of its responsibilities under the agreement it signed with Russia. In addition, the Turkish armed forces are primarily focused on targeting the US-backed Kurdish Syrian Democratic Forces SDF. Ankara's forces carried out a heavy shelling of SDF positions south of Afrin in the Aleppo countryside. Other SDF members were targeted in the towns of Manranaz and Ayandakna. Finally, Turkish forces intensively bombarded the city of Tal Rafat and the Manak military airport in Aleppo. Turkish-backed militant factions are targeting various SDF positions as well, 